And to be honest, I think I can beat Mark with my eyes closed. There's absolutely no pressure on me whatsoever for this challenge. It's all on Harry, and when it comes down to it, I think he'll fold. Oh no, pressure got to you. It's been over 20 challenges that I've had to put up with Mark's crap, and it's about time that I put him in his place. I will be crowned the greatest angler between Mark and I. Harry's going to be going into this match super confident and I think he's going to seriously underestimate me. Oh, you'll be getting substituted now. Leon Bartrop will be coming on in your place. <laughs> yeah. Yay! Back in the game. There is no way I am losing this match. 31-13. Excellent, yes. mate. Yes! This is all about mind games. You worry too much, you stress too much. And I play them much better than Harry. I think they need someone a little bit more chilled in the England team, not someone that got, someone gets in a massive you? flap. No, I don't want to be in the England team. <laughs> <laughs> We're on the Ebro, where I won gold, I've got a game plan, there is no way I'm losing this. Harry won the World Championships five years ago and he's still clinging on to that victory. He's living in the past, he's a has-been. So competitive, isn't he? Both the, fish, both the fishes landed, I'm like, yes mate, well done, well done, have you heard him? Lose it, lose it, you wa- Lose it! <laughs> Come on, what are you playing at? Go on for about 20 minutes. Yes! yes. Two more bites, two more thirties. Three thirties I've had in a row It's crazy, now. isn't it? Lo I'm loving it, absolutely loving it. The charge is on. You're f What's up car freaks and welcome to this challenge special. Right, why is this challenge a special one? Well, it's special for two reasons. And the first reason is, this is one you are always asking for. And it is, Mark has to take on Harry in a match on the venue, he won gold with England. You're always asking that me and Harry have a match and here we are. Um, now, we are at um, the River Ebro in Casper, in Spain. Yesterday, we got a flight out from Birmingham Airport, and we are here now, and I'm gonna take on Harry, where, where he won gold, and something which he never stops talking about. God, how long ago was it? About five years ago? God, he never shuts up about it. So this will be a great chance to, to, to silence him. <laughs> Um, but really, there's no pressure on me. I'm going into this match really free and easy. There's no pressure on me whatsoever. This is where you won gold. No one expects me to win. I'm just here for the ride. <laughs> so all the pressure's on you. I don't believe it. All true. the pressure is on you here. None on me. Who's got to do the challenge? Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm just here to make up the numbers. <laughs> That's, and all the pressure's on you. So I feel quite good going into this challenge, actually. And Harry looks stressed to f <laughs> <laughs> so it's the start of the match and Mark is giving it the whole oh there's no pressure on me he's pretending to be really chilled but what he forgets is this is a challenge it's not a match it's a challenge and the pressure is on him so I'm in a great place right now I am going into this match super chilled unlike Harry and I think that's going to play right into my hands So this week we were out with Paul Booth, who is a venue expert and a guide on the River Ebro. 
and also part of that successful England squad. And before we even got started, I made sure I punished Paul for as much information as possible. Right, so tell me everything I need to be doing. We've found at the moment better to use the red one and the black one. Red one and the black one? Yeah. That's, they're the normal halibut pellet. Yeah. These are um, a halibut pellet, but they have uh, shrimp and krill in them. Uh -huh. And we, we fish them. All right. Like that. Okay. Black one on the end, red one inside. Have you tied up rigs for fishing that? No. Unlucky. Oh. <laughs> you, you've got to fish for them two rigs you tied last night now. No going back. So Harry had spent all that evening tying up rigs like some sort of nerd only for Paul to dismiss them immediately before he'd even cast out. I, on the other hand, was able to tie rigs fresh on the bank using the appropriate hook baits, according to Paul. Or the smaller version. Exactly the same thing. You tied up rigs for that? No. Unlucky. Yeah. <laughs> if, you go two, if you go one, yeah. you'll get roach. Have you tied up one, one, one with one? Yeah. Unlucky! <laughs> 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 so Mark is now giving it the big un, laughing at the fact that I had spent all the previous evening tying up rigs that are now nothing like what Paul is suggesting Mark should use. But if I'm honest, that time I think was better spent tying up those rigs than the time that Mark spent Snapchatting his mum all night or whatever he was doing on his phone. What time start? Nine o'clock start? That we we start one once we've done the intro. Cough. No, it has to be it has to be a, a fair start. No, no, that's only because you haven't got any rod, rigs. To I didn't have any pellets or tiny rigs. You you didn't even ask to help. You didn't I even did. ask to I, help. I did. I asked you for some pellets, and you and they only had little ones. I didn't want them little ones. You you spent last night in the hotel texting your new girlfriend. Everything was all done. And I just I needed to tie my rigs. Yeah, and I said, have you got any big pellets for me to tie rigs? And he said, no. Well, I, that's the truth. I didn't have any big pellets. Well, there you go. I've got everything ready. So you need to tie two rigs. That's all I've got to do. All right. Well, once you've tied those rigs, you can fish. I can fish. No, no, no. That's that's not, is, that, is that the rules in, in, a, in a match? Julian, you have a designated start time. <laughs> is, it, is it a match then? It's a match, yeah. You have a designated start time and you both start then. Me. Eight o'clock then. You've got two minutes. Stop. <laughs> Don't side with him. 9 a.m. start. I'm ready to go. 8.30 start. <laughs> 8.30 start. <laughs> right. Right. Okay. Good. No wonder you won gold, you cheating <laughs> bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Before the match, there'd been some small debate about swim choice. Okay, so I've only got um, three pound Tesco rods for here. Due to your own, that's your own fault? Due to that's probably, maybe, I don't know. Um, so Paul said I would be better off fishing on the right because it's a shorter cast and Harry should go on the left um, where it's more open water. So Paul's done the draw. Um, so that's the way it's going to be. The right hand side of the swim up against the dam wall, that was where we were seeing all of the fish. I think that's fair. Paul, help. Well, it's fair. Well, it's, it's fair. It's fair. It's going to be a fair competition. We can all swap tomorrow. Maybe. Well, we'll see. <laughs> Depending on how well you bait it up today. Yeah, look, it has to be a fair match, and in the, in the interest of fair sport, then that's the way it's gonna be. Seeing as he has come completely underprepared for this, I've decided to let him go on the right hand side for the first day. So rather fortunately, I was able to fish on the right hand side for the first day, and then the following day we would swap over. Are you excited? I'm very excited. I can't wait. I'm really pumped for this. Good. Me too. Okay, let's go. Cast out. Yeah. Go. <laughs> now. Oh, now. Oh, sorry. This is also, you're getting a slight head start. Yeah, I, I, was, I was really I, surprised. I'm going to reel in like five minutes after. Five minutes? This, after this evening. Yeah? Well, because some... a minute. Well, I'm going for a big one here. You can tell, can't you? I'm really uh, psyched up. This is when my shoulder injury is going to cost me, though. Yeah. Bail on. Give it 
dog. I thought I was going to go for miles and it <laughs> seemed to be going forever. And I got a nice drop as well. I thought I was going to go over the dab, the way it was, <laughs> it was going. I thought, I love someone looking at myself in shock. <laughs> and it's like landed really shortly. Uh. My first rod went out sweet. I was really happy with it. Bang on the money. My second one though. Oh, f I was clipped up there. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great cast as well, that. I was like, fuck. Always check that you're in the clip still. Always check. Always check, you. Are you in the clip? Probably not, actually. No. You sure? Yeah, pretty sure. You sure you're not in the clip? Not in the clip. I was sure I wasn't I'm in the not, clip. I'm definitely not. <laughs> Always check you're not in the clip. Always check you. He nearly sprung back and hit me in the face. Always check, Paul. Always check. Always check. Always check you haven't left your line in the clip at 30 yard before giving it the big one. Always check. <laughs> Always check. So the rods are in the water and this match is underway and let me explain how this match is going to be scored. So we're going to do this on a points based system rather than overall weight. So you get one point for a single figure fish, two for a double, four for a 20, eight for a 30 and so on. So for every £10 increase um, the, the, the points double. Um, so the bigger the fish, the bigger the rewards, I guess. Um, I think this will keep it very fair and interesting. Um, and I think this will go right down to the wire. So I'm pretty excited to see what the next three days has in store. So it is, yeah, just over two hours into this match to the death and yeah nothing has happened and i think that is probably due to the river conditions now it looks absolutely awesome big massive river um we got down this morning and we've seen uh, quite a few fish showing but what you won't know is in the last five days this river has come up by five meters where our rods are fishing now, five days ago, would have been completely dry land. There has been loads and loads of rain. Um, up in the mountains, there's been snow and uh, that's melted and all of it has come into the river. So that means really cold water and a complete change in, in the river conditions. So the reason that we've decided to come and fish uh, this area, one, it was the first place that we came to look because we thought that there could be fish in this area. Paul um, obviously knows the river like the back of his hand. He said that this would be a great place to look first and we saw fish. But I think the reason that there are fish here is because it's sort of like a slack bay. If you see the, the river behind me, it sweeps round under the bridge and then round the corner. And then this whole bay here um, is slack water. So. Hopefully it's a f place for the fish to sort of find a bit of sanctuary. We know that there are fish here, but I think catching them is gonna be a different kettle of fish because of how cold the water is and how, how much the water conditions have changed and sort of put the fish a little bit out of kilter. But for as long as there's rods in the water, we're gonna be giving it a go. And I know that Mark has got far worse tactics at the moment than I do. So, I think it's looking good for me. The day drew on and regular recasts were made by both myself and Harry. The breakdown of the pellets is relatively fast and with thousands of roach present and liable to peck away at your hook baits, it was important to keep those pellets fresh. 
Despite seeing a good number of fish that morning, no bites were forthcoming, and it wasn't until well into the afternoon that Paul was the first to receive any action. So while Harry and I are fully concentrating on our match, Paul has chucked the rods out next to us, and uh, he's now playing one. So he's making us look like a proper pair of mugs, isn't he, really? <laughs> That's nice. That's nice. He's only got one eye. Oh, he counts for double. The, the net got stuck on a rock. It's quite, it's quite rocky down there. That's quite a big fish. It is. He hasn't got any eyes. Yeah, it's quite rocky down there. It's got no eyes. That's, that's what you call um, a gnarly old warrior. I'm glad you're picking him up, not me. That would be worth valuable points, wouldn't it, that one? It's got to be close to 30 pounds, doesn't it, that? Yeah. Not that it matters to us two, but... <laughs> but well done. Paul snuck in there and bagged himself a 35 pounder before either of us had had a look in. With no eyes, this battered old common was carrying the scars of the river. So it is now late afternoon and there's around three hours of fishing time left before we have to be off the river. We're allowed to fish an hour into darkness, yeah. then we have to be off. Um, so what can we say about today? What, what, what are the highlights so far? I mean, I suppose you could say it's all to play for. It's it a very, very, tight, very, nip and tuck. Yeah, I was gonna say it's a very evenly tied match yeah. at the moment. Yeah. Um, highlights so far. Well, Paul had a 35 pounder. Paul, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Which makes no difference really no, to anything at all. It doesn't. That's like, that's like the referee scoring a goal. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, what else? What's happened? What's, um, you've hurt your shoulder. Yes. That was, br that was a highlight for me. Yeah. I, I came into this match nursing an injury, which was just getting better, actually, and now it's a million times worse. Mm. Um, so that's good. That's good. I can hardly cast. Yeah. But I haven't moaned much N about not, that. No, you haven't moaned once in the last <laughs> 10 minutes about yeah. it until now. <laughs> Literally all day you um, won't shut up. So what, what, what else has happened today? Um, oh no. You had a drop back off a roach. Yes. Um. Yeah. That was good. Yeah, I missed it. Yeah. You missed that. Um. No. <laughs> yeah. It's a good job this isn't live. Oh, Jesus. Yes. God. Um. Oh. Oh, no, that was last year. <laughs> <laughs> a different challenge. Yeah, that was, that was something else altogether. That's about it, really. That's it. That's it. That's all we can say. It's nil-nil. Yeah. Uh... And a thrilling nil-nil at that. <laughs> it's been end-to-end -end stuff. Mm. That's it. <laughs> that's that's nothing, literally it. We've got nothing. Yeah. Nothing left to give. But the next three hours could be... Could be equally as exciting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's just wait and see. <laughs>
Talk to me. <laughs> I so hope this stays on. Literally, the light has just pretty much fallen out of the sky. I've got one on. <laughs> this was the one that I cast into your peck. Yeah. So really, <laughs> actually, Paul, under Phipps rules, if you cast outside your boundary... <laughs> We're not playing anywhere close we to Phipps rules. Say something. Well, I don't, yeah. I don't, I'm concentrating, Mark. This means this could be the winning fish by, oh, by how long it's gone so yeah, far. Yeah, yeah. How well it's gone so far. This means a lot. You're just trying to put me off. No, not at all. You are. It is a carp. It's a carp. Oh. And it's got eyes. It's got eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Yes. That looks like a good 4-0 to me. 26. 3. Three. Yeah. Going in between 4 and 2. So that, <gasps> um... so is that 4 points? One for a double, two for a... No, one for a single, two for a double, four yeah, for a 20. Yeah, four points, yeah. Boom, four nil. Well, well, so it, well it is four, four nil. points. Four, yeah, <laughs> it's a nil. That's like, nil. That's, like say, that's like when you're playing darts, it's like 180 nil. <laughs> <laughs> that's stupid. <laughs> First blood to me, it's been a very, very hard day, it has to be said, but I've worked my arse off filming and fishing. And yeah, got the rewards that I wanted. 4 0 to me at the end of day one. Very happy with that, and very happy with this 26 pound Ebro Common. My first fish out of the Ebro for five years. So that's the end of day one and round one, but there's still everything to play for because there's just one fish in it, only four points on the board. So tomorrow's a new day and it can all change, but right now we have to reel in and we're going to head back to the hotel and then go into town and grab something to eat and I really can't wait for a fresh start in the morning. So here we are and it's day two down at the river. We got here early this morning, about half an hour before first light. And um, yeah, it's not looking great, to be honest. The river has come up a foot overnight, which on a river of this size is such, such a large amount of water. Um, it's much colder tonight as well. And we've seen nowhere near as many fish showing as what we did yesterday. Um, so yeah, it's, it's not looking, it's not looking fantastic. Harry and I have swapped sides now, um, and tactics remain pretty much the same. Just blindly pub chucking them wherever looks good. Um, it's a tactic I'm not familiar with. Harry's an expert at that, so he does have a massive advantage in this match, and obviously he's got that four-point lead over me. So. Four point lead over me. Four nil lead. So, yeah. But one fish could turn it all around, so there's everything to play for. And I don't know, we just have to wait and see what happens today. I'm not feeling super confident for one. Mark is not happy this morning. He's complaining that the fishing on the Ebro is basically all just pub chucking and blind luck. What you've got to remember is we've had lots of uh, conversations where I basically say I'm better than you at fishing. If I win, that will be confirmation. See, it wouldn't be to me. It would just be like, who's the best pub chucker? You. <laughs> Not really. Yeah, that's really what it is. It's just blind pub chucking into the abyss with bags, hoping that one of them happened. One of them. So it's like, who's the jammiest fuck? Would I want to be more jammy than you? I'm not sure I would. Mark believing that the fishing on the Ebro is just pub chucking really is playing into my hands. I'm using smaller hook baits than him, smaller bags, and these aspects I really think are gonna give me a massive advantage. Who's the best pub chucker? I couldn't do it. 
I wouldn't know how to do it. You think you almost need to take your brain out of gear and not think about things as much, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> when have I ever jammed anything out, ever? Think of one capture that I've jammed out. Uh, getting three bites in the last 10 minutes on the challenge. That wasn't jam. That was never giving up. No way you're going to call that jab. Of course it was. Not what? Of course it was. What? You did not believe for one minute that that was going to happen. But I never, I never stopped trying though. Yeah, in a similar way to how how I never stopped trying yesterday, and I got the rewards. I was pub chucking for for England yesterday. I don't think you'd have got picked. I've never, I've, I've, honest, I've never seen pub chucking on a world scale, on a world level as you have, so maybe that's what it is. Maybe I need to go and watch these pub, pub chucking events. I'm literally, next to that, I honestly just going to close my eyes and pub chuck. <laughs> <laughs> and if that rod goes, I'm not even joking. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> it's day two. I'm on the better side of the swim. I'm one fish to the good. And all Mark is doing is grumbling about my tactics. The only thing that could make this better right now is a fish. So, we are about, well, probably four hours into the day. And it really hasn't been looking good. We've both just sat down thinking, oh my God, nothing's happening. This looks horrendous. And um, for the second time, I forgot to turn my alarm on. <laughs> and Mark said, Harry, got a bite <laughs> literally as casual as that and um yeah my tip was bent right over and we're playing one and it doesn't feel too bad just come right out of the blue yesterday we saw loads and had one bite and today we've seen a couple Come on, come on, come on. Yes. 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 Oh, come on. Very happy with that. Very happy with that. Yes, next one in the bag. Happy days. It is 27.4. Well done, 27.4. Yes getting bigger. That's eight nil. Eight nil. And there we go. 27 pound of Ebro powerhouse. Maybe think he was a lot bigger than what he is, but I am mega pleased to, um, yeah, get another one on day two. Like I said, it's been really, really hard. Tactics have been solid PVA bags filled with two mil halibut pellets, a bit of oil, and a special little halibut pellet hook bait that I had preparing for about a month in advance. The same ones that we used at the, uh, at the World Championships in 2015. And uh, yeah, it seems to be just the edge that I need. So happy days. Coming into this match against Mark, I guess I was at a slight advantage in the, uh, when we fished the World Championships, we had a couple of practices beforehand and obviously the match to refine our tactics and get everything as exact as possible. So I've come into this match using exactly the same tactics that won us gold back then. And it's basically traditional sort of English style solid bagging with a slight twist. So normally in a solid bag, I'd use a tiny little uh, wafter or pop up, a bright hook bait. And that's the only thing that's really changed. We've changed that for a 14 mil halibut pellet and a little pink plastic corn topper. And the halibut pellet has been soaked in a, um, a spicy liquid and some halibut oil 
for probably the last month so that smells a little bit different to what all the other sort of halibut pellets that get fed um, but not so different that the fish completely ignore it and they seem to really home in on uh, on that pellet and I think also a lot of the smaller items in the PVA bag that you put in the two mil pellets etc I think a lot of them do get eaten by these loads and loads of roach in here I think they get eaten so some of the time you're left with a single hook bait and if it's really really pungent then it can draw the fish in so yeah really simple reflex braid uh, supple sort of four inch hook link the hook is a wide gate beak X uh, size 4 and then there's just a flipper on there and uh, and the only reason that I use that is because the pellet is a bottom bait I feel like the flipper helps the hook to turn home and then we've got a four ounce lead a two foot length of pre-tied leg core and um, yeah I basically just put all of that inside a rapid PVA bag with some more of the oil that I've had the pellets soaking in, two mil CC more halibut pellets. And um, the idea is, is fire this out pretty much anywhere until you start getting bites. Now, I've sort of the last day and a half, I've had one rod short and then the other rod long. Both of my bites have been on the rod that's long. So I've just put both of my rods out um, as long as I can possibly get them, which uh, with these bags is about 145, 150 yards. And yeah, fingers crossed, I can catch another one and put myself even further in front of Mark because it's currently eight nil and I'm doing pretty well. I just want to document this. Yeah, fine. This is Mark asking for one of my hook baits that he poo-pooed at the start of the session. All match, Mark was insistent that my hook baits made no difference. Yet here he was sniffing around my kit. I was just curious. I was just curious to see what Harry was making such a big fuss about. Curious. Desperate. See if it works. Where are they? Well, there, there's, there's actually two pots because I knew that you'd eventually try and... <laughs> we brought me a pot. I, don't, I brought you a pot thinking that you'd probably want to steal them at some point. Like. Well, considering I haven't given them to you yet, yeah, I've given them. myself a head start. No, no, I did expect you to. Yeah. Them. Yeah. Right, give it a go. Thank you. So desperate. I got a bite! Oh dear, Mark! Oh dear! What are you gonna do? Oh no! No! Oh no! Pressure got to you! It just got stuck on something! Pressure got to him, Paul! Paul, do you see that? The pressure got to him! <laughs> no. Oh, that'd be you dropped from the England team straight away! <laughs> see, how we, see how we caved in under the pressure of that? <laughs> oh, never! Oh, oh you would be getting substituted now. That is annoying. Yeah? That is annoying. Leon Bartrop would be coming on in your place. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be mean about Leon like that. Well, wasn't that he said Leon Bartrop would be coming on in your place? I don't know who's in the England team. Is Leon in the England team? No. I love Leon and I think we should start a campaign. Hashtag Bartrop for England. <laughs> oh, that's really upsetting. All oh, right, get it back out. I've got another one tight, so it's fine. With Mark's concern growing and now mirroring my tactics exactly, he thought he'd employ some rather underhand methods to try and claw this back. Well, I feel like the pressure's getting to you now. Why? Why? You're getting pulled to go out in the boat for Yeah, you. which I was discussing before you had your bite. Your bite. So It should be casting only, really. We're not, we're, you've already told me that we're not, 
operating by FIPS rules. The other one that's been casting outside your zone and doing God knows what. I'm getting some oil. I'm nicking your oil, by the way. I said to Paul, you know what, Paul? I think those fish are maybe just out of my range. How about we go out in the boat and drop a rig? And then about a minute later, you had a bite at range, which just confirmed my thoughts. It's like, yes, we are going out in the boat and dropping a rig. And then just, just, I think it was the pressure of Harry knowing that uh, there's a change of tactic coming my way. I think that's what got to you. I think you thought, well, if I don't land this, Mark's changing his tactics. He's going to turn it all around. I need to land this. A lot of pressure on me. And your ass went. I don't, you've got a boy. Your ass just went. I mean, now you see the tables have turned. <laughs> and this is when you start to worry, isn't it? I don't want to do what you did and lose it. That would make me look a bit silly. Oh. Are, you, are, you, are you feeling like you're going to lose I'm it? I'm feeling like my shoulder's going to give up. I need one of them fighting butt grip things and like a strap in my rod. Yeah. So the <laughs> fighting harness. Do you need one of those chairs as well? <laughs> yeah. I'm annoyed that I've been fishing for all day yesterday, all of this morning, saying that it's not, it's not the hook baits. The hook baits aren't making any difference whatsoever. Is this, is this? This has been in about hour and a half with the new hook bait. That's unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. This is the rock I said, if I hook a fish, I want to land it off this rock. It looks a great rock. Rumour has it, Paul, you're the best netsman on the Ebro. Yeah, this is when I hate it. I was in complete control of the situation. Three bites to nothing. You've come and raided me swim changed all your rigs, changed your hook baits, put on smaller bags. You've had a bite within an hour and a half. So competitive, isn't he? Both, this fish, both the fishes landed, I'm like, yes, mate, well done, well done. Have you heard him? Lose it, lose it, you <laughs> lose it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fully scaled catfish. Oh, no, that's Good netting, see that netting? Yay! Back in the game! That'll do, for the starter. I am so happy right now. I've stole one of Harry's hook baits, and an hour and a half later, I've pulled one back. Right, I'm just going to chuck that rod back out there. Hmm, I didn't tie this bag as good because I thought we were going to boat it out, but... Oh, this is going to hurt. Don't hurt. Did it hurt? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're midway through day two and I am finally up and running. And from feeling like I had no chance, I now feel like I'm on the front foot almost. I've had a change of tactics. I kind of stolen Harry's tactics. And after just an hour and a half, it's paid off with this common of around 24, 25 pounds. So yeah, I feel like, uh, I feel like I'm on the attack. With that fish under my belt, I am pulling out all the stops. Both the rods are baited with Harry's special hook baits. Paul has sent the rods out to the range. I feel I need to be fishing. And right now I feel I've got the wind in my sails. I am really not happy right now. I always like leading from the front, but now I'm taking it from the rear. Yes! Hey, okay, well done. Points on the board. More points on the board. More points on the board. There we go. This brings up 10 points for me. A little bit more of a buffer away from Mark after he caught that one using exactly the same tactics as what I'm doing. So. Pub chucking. But it's not just pub chucking, it's more than that. Pub anyway. chucking, but using different pallets to what I'm using. Well. 
yeah, but now we're using the same. I'm still doing better than you, so, you know. Luckier than me. <laughs> anyway, I've had three bites today, landed two of them, so we're heading in the right direction. It's getting, uh, it's getting better, and uh, yeah, let's hope there's a few more of these to come. More for me, less for Mark. With the day drawing to a close and tensions running high, Harry and I were both feeling particularly pensive, so we ensured we captured that feeling on film. That's a great pensive look. Yeah, channeling my inner Gandalf. Great look. I want to get this. I want to get this look from many different. I'm going to get it like yeah. silhouette. I don't know if that's going to work in silhouette. That is a pensive person right there. That is the perfect pensive person pose right there. Ooh, I like that alliteration. <laughs> Oh yes, oh, Steely. No. Steely. <laughs> That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. That's the money shot, right? That's the one. Yes, look at the eye. That's a great look. Just gonna zoom in on your nose a bit more. <laughs> you You can't talk, can no, you? I'm just <laughs> No, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just getting the eyes. Oh, it's, it's moving it all out of focus now. Oh, there we go, we're back. Right, carry on, carry on looking pensive. How long do I need to look pensive for? I don't know. Not much has happened in this no. programme. I need to, I need to <laughs> fill it right out. Pad it out. Yeah. Oh, going the wrong way. That's great. If you'd have caught a few more fish, we wouldn't have to fill the programme out with this sort of dross. This is fantastic viewing. Yep, I think we've got that. Got it, yeah? Yeah, we got done. that, yeah. <laughs> well, there's about one hour fishing time left now on day two, and it's still a very close match. Um, Harry's had two fish today, a double and a 20. Uh, to put him on to 10 points. I've had that 20 pounder as well, put me on to four points. So a six point gap sounds a lot, but it really isn't at all. If I was to catch a 30 pounder now, that would see me overtake Harry. Um, and there's so many 30s and 40s in the river. It's certainly not an impossibility. Um, and tomorrow is a different day entirely. We're swapping sides again. And I feel like I'm fishing a lot better now. Those little bags and maybe those hook baits of Harry's have made a difference, I don't know, but either way they've caught me a fish. And all of Harry's bites have come on his right hand rod fish closest to the dam. It wasn't somewhere I could cast yesterday. I just wasn't able to get the distance on, the, on my, my softer rods and my, and my shoulder as well. Um, but now we've got the boat, then yeah, I can get to where I need to be. So I'm quite looking forward to tomorrow and I think there's every chance I can turn this around. I'm feeling pretty confident about going into that final day. I've learned loads, I know exactly how I need to be fishing. Um, and I'm not too far away from Harry, but with just moments to spare, Harry goes and throws a spanner in the works. With minutes to go, just before we have to leave, I receive another bite and this one feels good. Yeah, with us moving sides tomorrow, or swapping sides again, Today's been my best chance to sort of pull away from Mark. If I can get this in, it will really help me uh, and give me a cushion for tomorrow because I have a feeling he'll pull it back. It's a big fish, this. Shut up. It is, though. You know it is. Did you net that 68 for your client? Okay. I had it on the drawstring. Uh, don't, yeah, don't say, tell me that. Just Three. say you got it straight in first no, time. No, I didn't. It's OK. <laughs> That's not what I did. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a nice fish, mate. Just steady away. Don't worry, we've got Spain's best netsman on hand here. Come on. I don't care how big it's Yes, nice. Yes. Cheers, Paul. You're welcome. Thanks, mate. Right. Yes. 30. 
1.13. Excellent, mate. Yes. Yeah. Cheers, well done, Paul. Mate. Thanks very much, mate. Oh, yes. Awesome. That's eight points. Oh. There he is. Oh, he's hungry. Look at his fins. Yeah. 31 pounds of Ebro Common Carp. Absolutely loved today. Um, feel like I kind of put something together a little bit. Paul's been speaking to people up and down the river and there's just been the odd fish getting caught. So I think to have had five bites between us today um, shows that we're going in the right direction. And um, yeah, this has put me on 18 points going into the last day. I don't know if that's gonna be enough of a buffer with Mark coming back onto the dam side, because I do think it is a better side, but we'll have to wait and see. Hopefully my, my fortunes will continue into the last day. I can knock Mark out of the park and officially I will be crowned the greatest angler between Mark and I. <laughs> what a fish though, eh? Yeah, that's great. It's lovely. So every night after being on the river all day, we headed back to the hotel for a couple of beers and then headed into the town for something to eat. You saved me You took the hurt and you raised it Everything that's inside of me can let go So this is it, the third and final day and despite Harry being quite a few points ahead of me I don't know exactly the points at the moment I know I've got four um, Don't know how many you're on, I've not really been counting 18, something like that. Um, <laughs> it's t two 30 pounders changes everything. Obviously, you know, I have to rely on Harry not catching anything, but um, there just seemed to be more fish on, on the right hand side of the swim today. Um, it was the same yesterday. So I've got a plan in my head as well. I've got a plan, I'm going to carry out the plan, and I just hope it works. I can't say any more than that, really. Basically, this is going to be pub chucking with a difference. It's pub chucking with a boat, yeah. basically. Boat pubbing. Pub boat golf. <laughs> Something like that. So, yeah, it's st strategic pub chucking, actually, yeah. this one. So, yeah. Yeah, you could. That, that sounds like a book title. Sounds like strategic. That sounds like one of Rob Hughes' books. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't it? Strategic pub chuck. Yeah. By that, I mean he had a book out called Strategic Carp Fishing, I think. Did he? Was that him or yeah. someone else? No, no, it that, was, that was, it him. was that him. That was him. Yeah. But I feel like he'd also do a book called Strategic Pub Chucking. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So let's, let's put that plan into action, huh? This is fantastic angling, isn't it? This is not cricket. This is fantastic this angling. This is not cricket. <laughs> this is angling at its finest, this. <laughs> I'm injured. I shouldn't even be here. I should be on the subs bench. Left a bit, mate. A tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Quite happy with that. It's a good cast, that one. With Mark having his two rods dropped at the same time, I fired mine out as far as I could, and we sat back to enjoy a glorious atmospheric morning. Well, we've been fishing a couple of hours now and the rod which was strategically cast Plate. 
positioned in the boat towards that showing fish. If hey, if I could have cast there, I'd have cast it there. You wouldn't have been able to cast there even if you did have a good shoulder. That's what I said. If I'd have been able to <laughs> cast there, I would have cast it there, but I couldn't. My heart's proper in my mouth right now. Can you be my netsman, Paul? I've heard you're the best netsman in Spain. Oh, I don't like it here. I don't like this. It's quite nerve-wracking, isn't it? It's not, I don't like how it's gone behind a rock. That's probably the worst thing. It's not good. Oh. I'm not I'm not liking this. I'm not like I'm not enjoying it one bit. I'm not enjoying it, Paul. Yay! Get in there! Yes! To start! Plenty of time as well. Lots of time. The charge is on! You're f mm. This is exactly what I needed. A really early bite, now anything is possible. Mm. 18... Five, six, something like that. So yeah, I'm on six points now. The charge is on. Feeling quite confident today. So yeah, the first fish of the day and it's fallen to one of my rods. Not a big fish, 18 pound, but um, valuable points on the, on the score sheet. And yeah, I'm feeling quite confident. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> <laughs> was he agreeing with you? Yeah. He should have been confident. What on earth? It's a squeaking carp. <laughs> extra points. Extra points for a squeaking carp. So yeah, feeling pretty confident. I'm going to get this one back, get the rod straight back out there. Well, Paul's going to get the rod straight back out there. <laughs> That's great. Nice clean fish as well. That's good. Don't fall over, don't fall over. Don't fall over you. Lines wrapped around its dorsal now. See, this is a job that only Spain's best netsman. I can't see it's Spain's best netsman. It's in. Thank you. Yeah, yeah another double. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Yeah. It's points. <laughs> you got nothing to say about that. No. <laughs> What's, wrong? What's wrong with him? Looks like a catfish is at it and shat it out again. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't the best looking fish in the world. But it's a character fish. Yes. So. Gnarly. Yeah, gnarly old warrior. Can I get it back? It was points, but at this stage, I need big points if I'm to make any sort of dent on Harry's lead. Mark's catching steadily right now, and I feel like that action is going to continue throughout the day. I really need a couple of bites to help stretch my lead. Right back at you. This is exactly what I need, and it feels like a really good fish too. Yeah, I think it's a good. I think it's a good fish, this one, mate. You said that with every fish. No, I said it with the 30, and it was a 30. Yeah, I think you got. A, I think you got a good fish, are you? The only one you haven't said that with is the double. And there you go, and it was a double. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's your point? <laughs> the point is, you said it with the 20s as well. No, I never. Yeah, you did. We'll play the footage back. I'll overlay it right now. Probably not even that big. I think it is. Mm. I think, no, it's a 30. 
Well, let's hope so, eh? Yeah. I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're at match fishing. Sorry. You should be. If any, if ever I see anyone else playing a fish, I'm like, oh, I, I hate you. Come on. Oh, that's a nice, oh, that's fish. A nice fish. Yeah. It's in that net. I mean, Come get on. off that net. Come on. Come on, Spain's best netsman. Yes. It's in the net. Well done. I mean, oh. I'm lucky. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I'm lucky for you. There. Yes. That's a nice one. That's a nice fish, good isn't it? That's good a nice fish. Very good fish. Yes. Oh, nice. Cheers. 36, five. 36? 36, five. 36, five, yeah. Well done. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah. Eight points, more importantly than 36, five, eight points. Well done, Cheers, Paul. Thanks well very much, mate. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! <laughs> there we go. Oh, is he going to go? 36 pounds, eight points worth of angry Ebro beast. I have absolutely loved being back at the Ebro and, um, yeah, we've had an awesome trip so far. I hope, because I don't think I'm gonna catch many today, I hope that this has put me far enough out of reach of Mark, but I think he's gonna catch more. And um, yeah, this could be touch and go towards the end, but at the moment, it's 26.6. So that sounds like a lot, but it might not be. Well happy, awesome. 230s on the bounce, proof right there that he is the luckiest angler I know, except for Lewis Porter. All I could do right now was stay focused on the job in hand and made sure I caught another fish, which I did. Mate, you're away. You're away. Oh, I've got one. It is chaos. Mark's playing his fish, clawing himself back, and I've had a bite. It's turned into a proper crazy day. Good times. Come on, what are you playing at? Well, on for about 20 minutes. This is awesome, isn't it? It is. This is proper good fishing. Hello. Go on. Go on. Hello. Go on. Yes. Yeah. But I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. There we go. Yeah. Yes, well done. Cheers, mate. Top man. Yeah, Look at us one. getting double takes and that sort of <laughs> stuff. That's nice. That's definitely a thirty. That Is way. it? Yeah. Yeah. Smashing it up today. You started to punch me in my shoulder. <laughs> oh no, I did, I did, did that hurt? Sorry. Sorry. Just... I reckon I'm going with 30 pound 12. 31, one. Oh, I wasn't far off, was I? <laughs> <laughs> no, you weren't. 31, one. Another eight points on the three thirties I've had in a it's row It's crazy, now. isn't it? Three thirties, that is. I had two 12 pounders in a row. You did say that I was jammy. Is it jammy or is it skill? Mm. You can't. Chili always said one's like two skill and three's like biblical or something like that. So Chili says it. I don't think he was talking about that. Well, today has been a much better day. Action's been thick and fast, really. We've had six bites between myself, Harry, and Paul. And, uh, yeah, if this wasn't a, a match, I'd be really enjoying this. <laughs> I still am really enjoying I'm it. Lo I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. it. But yeah, you've got a four pointer. I've got an eight pointer widening the gap a little bit. But there's still plenty of the day left, mate. Yeah, yeah. You've had three thirties in uh, three consecutive fights. So yeah. there's always a chance. There's always a chance. 
But no, right now I'm really enjoying it regardless. Good. Going into that afternoon, I may have had a mountain to climb, but I remained calm and continued to believe. Paul and I had a cracking system going with dropping the rods from the boat and it was really starting to pay dividends. So yeah, I'm playing my fourth fish of the day. And it might be the biggest one yet, might be, I'm not sure. But yeah, four bites for me today. There we go. Spain's best netsman. Yes! Happy with that, really happy with that. 27s. Thirty-three nine. It was more than a scrape. Thirty-three nine. Yeah, thirty-three nine. Yes, I'm buzzing with that. I'm really happy with that. Yay! All Good, right. Paul. Thanks. I'm well happy. Thirty-three nine. Nice fish as well. Well, this is my fourth fish from today, and it's the biggest one so far for me at thirty-three pound nine ounces. And that's a really valuable eight points. And Harry is twitching a bit because if I get two more thirties. I'll be in the lead, is that right? Yeah. So that's all it needs, two more bites, two more thirties, and I'm in the lead. So I'm gonna get this fish back, get the rod back out there, and there's still plenty of time to go. That's the best bit, isn't it? Watching them swim away. Is it? Yeah, of course it is. <laughs> well, lots of people say that, though. They are talking utter nonsense. Why? When I when I hooked that fish, and I knew that was a, I knew it was a bear fish. It just did nothing. I wasn't thinking. You know what? Can't wait to put this back. <laughs> that was the last thing I was thinking. Yeah. When I was when I was bent into that fish, that was the last <laughs> thing I was thinking. That's the best bit, though. The best bit was the, the second it goes over the net cord. After that. I just wanted to keep it, get it stuffed, or <laughs> put it in London Zoo, whatever. <laughs> the last thing I was thinking was, oh, I can't wait to put this back. <laughs> when that fish went in the net, I wasn't thinking about putting it back. I right. was thinking, no, no. I was thinking, get in there, come on, you big cheese. <laughs> yes, come on. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. In my head, yeah, obviously, wouldn't say, <laughs> say it out loud. Who the say that out loud? No, wouldn't say it out loud. I'm not a no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, that's what I yeah. was thinking. And that's the best bit. That was the best bit. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't having them same thoughts when I put it back. No. What were you thinking when you put it back? I was thinking, can I somehow foul hook it and land it again and weigh it twice? That's <laughs> <laughs> what I was thinking. <laughs> but, you know, yeah. yeah. Just, just thoughts. You wouldn't, act wouldn't actually do that. Now during this three day challenge, I have made a couple of changes and perhaps one that I think has been the most significant has been the rig itself. Now I have fished the Ebro uh, on a couple of occasions in the past and pellets has always been the way forward and that's what I sort of started my attack on. And that's what it was, it was a, um, um, a small 14mm halibut pellet on the top and a large 20mm pellet on the bottom. In the past, I've always just used a single big pellet, and, but I just thought with the extra water in the river, that bigger base, all that oil and scent is something for the carp to really home in on. And I, and I had every confidence going into the challenge that that was gonna work well for me. But seeing Harry catch on his more refined approach, then I couldn't just sit back and carry on doing what I was, I was doing and be stubborn. I had to make a change. So I did switch over 
to exactly what Harry was using. A small 14 mil pellet, which has been soaked in a spicy liquid. Harry was very kind actually to, to let me have some of his special hook baits uh, and just topped off with a, with a small bit of uh, pink artificial corn there. So yeah, a lot more refined, but yeah, it's, it's undoubtedly made a difference. So this is now my fifth bite of today. I need two 30 pounders to take the lead, or two 20s and a 30, something like that. We've got about four hours of fishing time left. I think we're kind of going into what has been the most productive, the productive period. Mark is on fire today, and he's within a couple of fish of my total. It is getting really tense now. Please be a single or a double. Why be like be that? Because I don't want you to get anywhere near me and I'm not Why be like this. that? This is not fun. Every fish you've caught, I've been, oh, nice one, mate. Well yeah, done, well done. Because you have zero competitive spirit. I just, That's what I dislike about you. <laughs> I just like seeing fish on the bank. I like it better when I'm putting them on the bank. I like seeing hook pulls, cut-offs. He's horrible, isn't he? he is horrible. Been a complete turnaround today though, it's my yeah, fifth bite today. If only I hadn't tried casting on my first day. And completely destroyed my arm. <laughs> and I just got Paul to bolt them out. That would have made a lot more sense. Would have been better angling as well, really. Points. That's all that matters. Points. Another one of them and a 30. Boom! So here I have my fifth fish of the day. Another 20 pounder, just under 24 pound this one. So that's another four points on the scores. I um, think that puts me, no idea. 24. 24 points. And you're on? 34. 34. Ooh. So what do I need? 10 points. Two. Two, three twenties really. Three twenties, two twenties and a double to draw level. A 30 and a 20. Yep, so. A 40 pounder. Yep, so yeah, there's about just under four hours of fishing time remaining. And uh, yeah, th there's every chance I can pull this back. I think it'd be a miracle if I do, but stranger things have miracle? happened. So yeah, an absolute miracle. How? Full on miracle if I do. And there we go. The comeback is well and truly on, and let me tell you, Harry's head has totally gone. I thought I'd come and film you looking all worried. Cheers, yeah, thanks. <laughs> you I do am. look a bit concerned, actually, of course, genuinely. Yeah, of course I'm concerned. I'm on the worst side of the swim. I've had two bites yeah, today. I, I was in the same three. situation no, yesterday. You've had five, sorry. Yeah, you were in the same situation. It's just a shame that you didn't maximise your opportunity that you had gifted to you on the first day. Well, I mean, you should be so far ahead right now, it'd be a joke. Luckily, you got everything wrong on day one. You really need to relax more. The pressure of this is really getting to you. It's not. It is. Your head's gone. It hasn't. Your head has gone, I tell you. How gone. did you get a place on the England team? Your arse has gone. Your it's head's not gone. gone. You're all over the place. You're a mess. No, I'm not. You are. You're a mess. And I'm just quite chilled about it all. I'm just going about doing what I've got to do. Yeah, knowing that you're in the better side of the swim. Yeah, exactly. Cheating. Yeah. I'm not cheating. You are. Fishing to me strengths. You worry too much, you stress too much. I think they need someone a little bit more chilled in the England team, not someone that got, gets someone in a like massive you. flap. No, I don't want to be in the England team. <laughs> <laughs> you just need to chill out more. Have you heard him, Paul? I'm trying to justify his behaviour. But it's the first time I've seen you proper shaky. I mean, this is a battle to the death, and I'm still very, very composed about it. Do you think Rob Hughes should get you in the England team? I think once he sees this, whether I win or lose, once he sees how much you flap and fuss and how cool, calm and collected I am, he's going to be on the phone to me. Regrettably, I will turn down your offer, but I can come along and... Oh, what's going on here? I can come along and give some words of support for Harry Charrington, who clearly <laughs> needs it, 
in these high pressure situations. I could just say, Harry, chill the f out. <laughs> that would be me behind you, all match log. Or I can just do like a, like a motivational, like podcast or something you can play on your phone. Just like, get your act together, man. <laughs> chill out. Just like lots of things, but yeah, just calm down. Harry, get your head together. Sort yourself out. You're a mess. Don't lose it now. Don't lose it now. <laughs> I don't think that would help. <laughs> okay, yeah. Downloaded this for Harry. Just think, you can uh, do in your next match. You straight into your face like this. How oh, you can do it? Strutting around like that. I'm best. You believe in it. You believe that, Harry. If I was Rob Hughes, that would be part of the, the England trial. Seeing how everyone struts to the rods. <laughs> if, if anyone didn't strut to the rods with confidence, out. <laughs> Straight on the phone. Hey, is that Leon? Leon, get down here. <laughs> yeah. You're in. Yes, there he is, strutting around like that. Way. Come on! He'll be straight in there, straight in the team. New sign in. Charrington out. Bartrop in. All because of the strut. What? Who else would have a good strut in carp fishing? Well, me, obviously. So you haven't got the confidence to strut. You lack confidence in strutting. If you lack confidence in strutting, you lack confidence in carp fishing. Jimmy Armstrong would have a great strut. Lewis Reed would have a fantastic <laughs> strut, wouldn't he? He would actually. Yeah. Yeah. Genuinely. Yeah, no, me too. Imagine that. Imagine Lewis Reed and Bartrop. Formidable. They're, they're bringing home gold. <laughs> Jerry Bridger would smash that strut. <laughs> Get him in. I've already, I've already revamped the England team. So now I don't just want to place in the England team. I want my own England team. <laughs> Rob Hughes out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, I think it should be the England A team. You can be the B team, and this will be the new A team. The A team. Yeah. <laughs> Bartrop would be Mr. T. <laughs> yeah. Um, Jerry Bridger would be face, obviously. Um, Lewis Reed Murdoch. Uh, Who would you be? Hannibal, obviously. Darling. <laughs> uh, uh. You saved me You took the hurt and you raised it Everything that's inside of me can let go For so much joy in the craving Let's win this game that we're playing Well, there's just under an hour remaining of, uh, of this match and this challenge. And it is looking like a really tall ask for me to, to pull this out of the bag. I need either a 40 pounder or bites on both the rods that are out there. And one of them has to be a 20 and a 30, really. So yeah, it is a tall ask, but while the rod's in the water, there is a chance. And I may, may seem quite relaxed and chilled about the whole thing, which is unusual for me when I'm staring at a, a challenge fail. But it's been a great day's fishing. I've had five carp today, 30 pounder, when the river hasn't been fishing well at all. Um, and it's also really quite fun watching Harry under so much pressure, just getting himself in such a flap. He's, what, he's pacing the banks, he is so stressed right now. And for me, that feels great, because now he knows how I normally feel. And I came at this challenge not expecting to pass, really. Um, I was gonna say, can I say it? Harry's a, Harry's a, a great angler and he, 
obviously he's got the, 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 the knowledge from when he, he fished the World Championships and the practice events. So I didn't really expect to beat him on here. So the fact that we've both managed to catch six carp each, I've tied with him really on, on numbers of fish caught and he looked out and caught a couple of big ones. So that's yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's where we are. And yeah, it's whether, you know, it, who knows what's going to happen the next hour. It, it, it yeah, I could pull it out the bag with a 40 pounder, but if not, then it'll be great all the same. With five minutes to go, I've had another bite. Could this be it? Well, there is literally five minutes of this match remaining. And I'm playing what will be, if I land it, my six carp of the day. And if it's over 40 pounds, then that will see me win. Just don't be a 40, don't be a 40, don't be a 40. Please be a 40, please be a 40. I mean, this is pretty tense, isn't it? I heard that's what the big ones do. They oh. just swim towards you. Oh. Oh. I'm not going to lie. My, oh. Oh. when you had that bite, my heart sank so far. Have, have we got, got a got net? Have we got a landing net set up? Where's Spain's best netsman? He's gone. <laughs> he thinks it's over. Oh, there he is. He's back. He's back in business. There he is. Well. It's not a 40 pounder, so it's not enough for me to seal a win. But what is he? Is he a, is a 20? I think I've packed like the scales and everything away literally minutes before we have to call it time. But it's uh, not enough though. It's not enough, it's not enough, but it's a very nice end to the day at least. Six fish now for me today. Well, it wasn't the 40 pounder that I needed to see me overtake Harry and pass this challenge. But still, a 24 pound. It's a very nice end to this match and a very nice end to our time here on the Ebro. I do still have one rod in the water though and there's about a minute remaining, so you never know, something, something might happen. Stranger things have happened, I guess. But if it doesn't, it's still a fantastic end to the day and a fantastic end to this match. Well done, mate. Thank you. You have done well today. Thanks. <laughs>